You'll recall that there were two altars in tabernacle service. The small golden altar was for incense and the large bronze altar was for animal sacrifice. We'll now spend some time at the great altar to think carefully about the various sacrifices that were to be made there. In simplest terms, there were five kinds of animal offered. The lamb, goat, heifer, bull, and turtle dove, or pigeon. There were also five classes of offerings, the burnt, grain, peace, sin, and trespass offerings. But we will not get the full significance of the way these animals were prepared if we don't first have an anatomy lesson. A butcher needs to know the various cuts of meat. A priest had to distinguish the animal's parts. And a Bible student should know the lessons intended by these graphic pictures. Listen to this from Leviticus chapter 3, quote, And he shall lay his hand on the head of his offering, and kill it at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. And Aaron's sons, the priests, shall sprinkle the blood all around on the altar. Then he shall offer from the sacrifice of the peace offering an offering made by fire to the Lord. The fat that covers the entrails and all the fat that is on the entrails, the two kidneys and the fat that is on them by the flanks and the fatty lobe attached to the liver above the kidneys he shall remove. That's verses two to four. How will we understand all these details? It's common in the West to ask someone to give you their heart, especially in February. It isn't an organ transplant we're desiring, but an exchange of affection. We think of the heart not as the pump in our chest, but as the core of a person, hopefully where true love resides. The Hebrews also had such an understanding, quote, my son, give me your heart. That's Proverbs 23, 26. But they went further, ascribing some characteristic of the soul to each part of the body. That verse continues, quote, and let your eyes observe my ways. Again, it wasn't the eyes themselves, but what they stood for, the organs of evaluation. When Jesus told the story of a man wanting to be generous with his servants, he had the man ask, is your eye evil because I am good? Matthew 20, verse 15. Some were evaluating his decision in the light of their own selfishness. Similarly, we read in Psalm 7, verse 9, quote, the righteous God trieth the hearts and reigns. In an attempt to help us with the word reigns, modern translators use minds, but note the similarity of reigns to the Latin word for kidneys, renes, as in renal artery. The great physician not only tests hearts, he checks kidneys. The kidneys, the organ of purification, were considered to be a good fit to illustrate our motives. Were they pure or clouded? With each sacrifice, quote, cut into its pieces, Leviticus 1, 6, we can see a link between the various body parts and aspects of human personality. Obviously, the blood is the life given. We can see the head as the seat of intelligence and control where the offerer placed his hands, acknowledging his thoughtful submission to God. Then we have the shoulder and the breast where the first picture is security, see Isaiah 9, 6, and the second speaks of love. We will see the same idea in the high priest's breastplate, placing God's people's names 
on both his shoulders and breast. The fat speaks of the energy that protects. Where the fat was given, especially the pads of protective fat, it expressed vulnerability and total commitment. Legs illustrated willingness and obedience, while the skin, as we will see in the burnt offering, spoke of identification. The inwards given through full exposure speak of honesty and openness. So lend me your ears and give me a hand by keeping your eye on this exciting theme. 